Hello and good morning to everybody out there on YouTube. Well, I guess by the time you guys will see this, it'll be afternoon. But uh, welcome to Bricks and Toys. And today we are on our March 24th Lego store haul. You know what that means. We're going to be here at the Lego store right behind me, picking up what sets I find that we really need for our collection and sets that I really feel like you guys would enjoy me reviewing at the same time. Today's video is going to be kind of a play it by ear because I'm expecting this line that's behind me to get a lot bigger than it is. I'm kind of in the mentality of if I have to climb over people to bring you some in-store Lego content today, I might just climb over some people and bring you some in-store Lego content. In case you're wondering why my face keeps changing colors, it's because at my local mall here, it's called the Fashion Show Mall in Las Vegas, we have a runway right in front of the Lego store. That's what that black thing is right behind me on the floor. That's a fashion runway. Fashionista, or whatever you want to call it. This is just the introduction. Hopefully up next we will be, um, well, once I get the sets that I want to buy saved at the back of the store, I'm going to try to bring you some in-store content and show you the new Lego sets on the shelves around my new store. So. Let's see how this goes. Okay, everybody, we are in the Lego store. I just waited and got the last set that I'm looking forward to get. And um, on my way to the back of the store, I'm just gonna show you what is there and uh, what is not here. People rush the store and things are flying fast. Sets that I didn't think would actually sell fast is actually selling really quick. So let's show you around and show you what's, uh, what's left out there. So coming down this wall, we will see that we have the Medieval Town Square. That is currently in stock. That is for the um, early insiders, which everybody is. Then coming down over here, we will see we have the 25th Anniversary R2-D2, the Tantive 4. They also have the Invisible Hand and the Millennium Falcon, as well as the boarding scene for the Star Wars. Coming over here, we can see that the Ayrton Senna Icons is gone and the Technic Mercedes, the big one, is gone as well. Hopefully they bring more out for these guys. And the Speed Champions are looking pretty stocked over here. Oh, it looks like they're bringing more out right now. Hey, dear. I still need to check my pad wall, but... Other than that, going down this wall, let's see what's cracking. Don't think we had any new Marvel this week or month. Harry Potter's down here. Looks like they still got some of the new car, or yeah, the, and the Hedwig. Looks like they still got some of the Brickheads down here. And the Sorting Hat is still down there as well. Really cool stuff. Then over here, we also got the two new Disney sets, including the Stitch. They currently have that. And I don't see any more of the Cinderella's house, but that is, excuse me guys, right over in here. So I got in, I showed you guys the store. I'm gonna go check my pad wall and we're gonna be back at the house. Oh, let's see if there's any GWPs. I think there's two today. So it doesn't look like they have them built and put out. It looks like there's a flower store free gift with $200 or more. We're going to pass that. And for $50 or more, it looks like there's a Maples Pumpkin Garden and Ferns Beach, Beach cleanup. So that's going to be the promos. Oh, and I also forgot about this carousel ride. That's another new set that is out. Might want to pick one of these up as well. Well, we are back from our adventure at the Lego store. Do you guys want to know how long it takes to buy $1,400 worth of Lego when you have a list? You stared at the window for an hour and 45 minutes making a strategic grab-and-go plan, and you have three people to help you, and you're also the third or fourth person in line. It takes 25 minutes to get everything you want and get it into the car. Not bad, but also super irrelevant. But here we can see behind me, we have three big bags and one little bag. It has been a very, very long time since we've had this much Lego content 
that is brand new and to review. January was a very big month, but it was also more of like the play sets for the kids and some odds and ends. Here we have Star Wars, we have Harry Potter, we have... Oh gosh, we have Disney, we have icons, we have so much meat and potatoes here, it's nuts. I really hope that you guys liked the little bit of the clips that I showed inside of the store. I just said F it and I just went and I did it. Unfortunately, as soon as I put the camera away and I was ready to go and input my insider's ID and all that to make the purchase, they restocked the Senna and they restocked the McLaren. I think I think somewhere in the video you might see that, that they're coming out with the Mercedes, not the McLarens, um, as I was passing through. As you guys know, I really want to do a lot of city and mock building. Unfortunately, for this month, we are going to be doing a lot of reviews, and I, I'm super excited. I remember one year ago today, we were sitting here making a plan it was the first big haul it's been one year since my investor decided to in start investing in the channel today's a really special day because i'm remembering all those fresh sets the clone commander cody the captain rex helmets the ford gt and so many other cool sets and that was a year ago and i'm still living on that first initial high of being able to go into a Lego store with an investor and buy everything that my heart could ever desire. And it's really cool, one year later, even though money struggles have creeped in with the family, we're still able to do this. So, any mini, miny, mo, which bag will go? Um, let's start off with the small one, right? Yeah, you know, I think that's a good idea. So, to start off is the promos. Now, this is the Spin 200, and you get this promo. Now, I probably could have gotten six of these if I would have broken the transaction up into 200 increments, but it kind of reminds me of the Houses of the World. You know, I could do without six of these. I probably just end up selling them for $20 a piece at the end of the year. But this actually looks like one that I might actually build. It's a little flower shop, 40680, 338 pieces. Let me let you guys get a good look in on that. The other one that was the Animal Crossing spin $50 was only for the three-in-one Animal Crossing and Friends sets. And those were just two poly bags, one of Friends, one of Animal Crossing that you would get. So we didn't get that because we did not buy any of those sets. Continuing on is the one that you see me grab in the video. I think this might be something for the amusement park. It's the Carousel Ride 40714, 232 pieces. I'm going to be moving along pretty quick with this because we have a lot of stuff. And with me filming inside of the store, I don't know how long all this is going to be. So I want to make sure I don't, I don't hold you guys too long. Next up is the Stitch 43249, 730 pieces. Pretty cool. When it comes to prices, I'm just gonna go over all that in their individual review videos. I have bought so many sets that I cannot remember every single one of their prices. So now let's go on to the bag behind the small bag and just reach in. And, oops, that didn't go well. Okay, so here we have the R2-D2. I guess this one's supposed to be a little bit smaller, a little bit more uh, refined compared to the 2021 version. I don't know, we'll figure that out when we cross that bridge. 75379, 1,050 pieces. Comes with the, the R2-D2 minifigure and also the Darth Malik minifigure for the 25th anniversary. Love this, this packaging, it's really freaking cool. <clears throat> Let's do another. Ooh yeah, this is another one I'm excited for. It's got that nice color of packaging. My box got creased. In transportation, that's what's bad when you buy so many sets, they get crushed in the bag, but we're going to build it anyway. Again, 25 anniversary. If you look on this one, this is more of the general age range packaging with that silver 25 anniversary look. This is the adult version of it where it's just a nice strip at the bottom. 75376, 654 pieces, Tana 4. Super excited. I've been wanting a Tana 4 in my collection. For, I don't know how long, but I'm glad to have one now. Okay, let's go in. Oh yeah, here we go. 
So here we have another one of this new speed champions. Now, if you guys remember in a video two ago, I got the Dark Horse and the BMW two pack already. So that just left a couple missing of the new wave, but this is one of them. This is the Audi S1 e-tron Crotro. Um, Crotro 76921 with 274 pieces. Super excited about this one. This is the one that Ken Block did a lot of driving in and then later on Leah Block did. Unfortunately, they did not have all the sponsorships to do the Hoonigan or the Huna, Huna something livery with the monster logos, but still it's the car and it's pretty cool. Going on. Now, this is the set that I think is replacing the Mandalorian set of the boarding scene. This is the boarding, the Tana 4, basically the intro scene to episode 4 that we all know and love. Again, we got that 18 and under 25th anniversary look right there with the clone trooper minifig. I have found out that the minifigs have nothing to do with the set. They're just a part of the lineup and... You know, that's perfectly fine. A special edition fig is really cool nonetheless. I have a lot more hope for this than I did the Dark Trooper attack. <laughs> for sure. Running out of space here, so we gotta get this bag finished off. I think this will finish the bag. Nope, there's something else in there. Okay. So next up is another Speed Champions. Now this is one I'm super excited for to pin it against the 2022 Mercedes F1. In two years, LEGO has came so far with their parts inventory that it's going to be amazing to sit these side by side when they're done. It's 76919, the 2023 McLaren Formula One car. Probably the one driven by Lando Norris, but it doesn't matter. We're going to pin it against the 2022 Mercedes driven by Lewis Hamilton. Okay, we got one more in here, I think. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the one that I almost didn't get. I went to grab it, and someone grabbed it before me, and I actually had this to sit there and wait, but they were able to bring extras out, so that was great. And that's when I started filming my little store tour for you all. This is the Millennium Falcon, the MIDI scale, just like with the Tana 4, 75375, 921 pieces. I tell you, if this set is as good as it seems... Is there a need for a UCS version that takes up so much space? Well, yeah, definitely, but still, this is this is gonna be sick. So I feel like there's still something in this bag. Oh yeah, we have one more into this bag. Now, this is a set that my mom picked up. It's nothing really special, but she wanted to do, to do this for herself. She has not yet built any Lego, yet most of the Lego back here is hers. She's the architecture person of the Lego 3 in the house. Well, technically Lego 4. My daughter does the friends, my wife does anything cute and Disney and floral, and my mom does architecture and I do whatever the hell I feel like it. But this is the postcard from New York, 40519, 253 pieces. So I hope that she enjoys this because if she enjoys this, she wants to try to start building the flowers that I've already shown on the channel for my wife, but she wants to buy those for herself and do it herself. So hopefully she likes this and we can encourage a 63 year old woman to get into Lego because Lego's fun. So now let's push that stack back and keep on ticking. We're now just gonna go straight into this front bag we got a big one everybody oh oh yeah this one daddy likey now again a set that i'm super excited to pin against the mclaren f1 from 2022 the big technic one is this one again we're two years down the line we're two years of new pieces and i just have so many hopes for this set i cannot wait to build it and pin it up against the other one. It's, it's going to be fantastic. This is set number 42171 with 1,642 pieces. This one does indicate that it is 1 8 scale. The other one from 2022 did not have that indication. So it will be interesting to see the size difference if it's bigger or smaller. But a 1 8 W14 Mercedes is just, I mean, this is legitness. This is. You can see how much I'm smiling on this one. But this is really cool. I'm going to set this one down. 
Now, I already know what the next one is in this bag, and this bag is done. Yep, there it goes. Oh. Now, this is one that I have a future, future plan on. We are going to build it this month. We are going to review it this month. But its true purpose will not be done until later this year. Let's just say Medieval Village, Lego City, Mountaintop, Castle. You know, we'll leave it at that for later. This is the Medieval Town Square, 10332, 3,304 pieces. Now, this is an amazing set you get for over 3,300 pieces. This one was only around 230 US dollars. It has all of the classic medieval minifigures and other medieval stuff. I don't understand medieval, but I love the look of it anyway. Super excited about this. I cannot wait to build and review it. Because, like I said, later this year, when we're done with the garage mock, I have some serious-ass plans for stuff like this. Now let's just take a second to get a little bit of a breath. Because we have one more bag. But, as you can see, we should not have too much more in that bag to go. We've already unbagged so much stuff. I am just ecstatic. It's been so long since we've had this much. There's a big difference between having a large amount of Lego that's just, hey, this is for the kids, and a large amount of Lego that you have a passion to collect before you even had a YouTube channel, and that's what this is. Let's get into the last bag. Oh, God, the hits keep on coming, everybody. We have 76429, the 561 piece Lego Harry Potter sorting hat with the talking sound brick. Again, another video that I cannot wait to make and play with that sound brick and show you guys all about the sound brick. This set is about 100 US dollars, but you're paying for that brick and that manufacturing cost of that brick, and we have to respect that. And oh god, I'm just I'm overflowing with excitement. I've not been excited about things since the Avengers Tower. Okay, maybe we got a lot more heater. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah, this is another one that Daddy likes. This is the McLaren MP44 by And Ayrton Senna. This is the Icons vehicle of early 2024. This is a set that I heard a rumor, and I was like, they're not going to make a system F1 car. They're, they'll do Technic, but they're not going to, to, to do this. But they did it, and this is... This is tomorrow's video, by the way, everybody. And it's noon here today, so I got I got to finish this video, edit and upload it, then I got to build this and get this out to you tomorrow. Exciting. Let's keep it going. And here is our last of the midi scale ships. I think the midi scale ships is what's going to replace the helmets. I don't know if you guys can notice, but the Lego around me has changed. I reorganized and dusted my entire studio and installed that air purifier, like I said a few videos ago. So everything has changed around, and it's really nice. And one of the reasons that that is is because I think the helmets are done, and the, and the midi-scale ships are in. This might be a 25th anniversary type thing, but I can only hope that we can get a lot of ships in this scale because they can pack into a tight space, and they're just really badass. But like I said, Invisible Hand, set number 75377, 557 pieces. That one is really freaking sick. It, it's really cool to have something from the prequel Clone Wars era to complement the OG movies. Now, I think we have one more left in this bag, and that is going to be Hagrid's Hut, an unexpected visit, 76428, 896 pieces. This is a set that I was getting ready to buy retired. I seen a couple at my local Bricks and Minifigs, and then I found out that they were coming out with a new one. I was like, newer should be better. We're going to go with this route. Now, I think the hat is for my mom's collection because she is the OG Harry Potter a Lego collector. I'm right after her with being the next collector of Harry Potter. I have the Fox and I need another set to complement Fox and I think this is going to be the one that's going to fill that space on that shelf right behind the camera there. 
Now, let's see. I feel like there's a little bit of weight left in this bag. Let's bring it on down. Oh yeah, how could I forget? And the last one is the Harry Potter four pack or five pack of Brickheads. Set number 40677, The Prisoner of Azkaban Figures. Featuring Sirius Black with his Azkaban uniform on. We have Hermione Granger, Harry Potter. Looks like he's using that new wand piece that was in the Expecto Patronum set last year. Looks really sick. Speaking of Expecto Patronum, we also have a Brickheads of It coming in. And we have the Dementor. This set looks sick. And that's everything, everybody. Wow, look at that haul. And to think a year ago today, to make one month's worth of content was over five Gs for us. Like I said, those were the mistake era days because today was only $1,400 at the Lego store. And with all this already scheduled in in a scheduled book, this is one whole month's worth of content. Talk about bringing it down by $3,400 or $3,600 for a much more healthier budget. And we still have so much cool things to talk about on the channel. And I even might change some of the scheduling around to do comparison videos and back and forth videos to where some of this might even go into April, which so far has nothing expected so far in the month of April. So the only things really missing is the Cinderella's house. Now, I didn't grab that one because with the medieval town square, they're, to me, they're very similar. I know one's Disney and one's, you know, not, but they're very similar. And with the open back of it, it's just not something that I see necessary. I'm also not a big Cinderella guy, obviously. <laughs> I passed on that. The pullback cars, I passed on those for obvious reasons. I, I don't need them. I did try to get a couple of, of the monster trucks for my youngest daughter and glue them together. She quickly forgot about them, so that's not a necessity. Um, what else came out today? I, oh, the Animal Crossing. Now, with the Animal Crossing stuff, I just want to wait till those sets get older and then just buy them for the minifigures. So I'm going to make my own CMF lineup of the Animal Crossing through the minifigures that are in those sets, but that's down the road. With whatever else, I have my reasons. Like I said, the Ford Mustang Dark Horse and the BMW, those I already bought, and they're honestly right behind the camera. So that section of that video that I'm gonna make in a week or so is already done. The 2024 Speed Champions is looking really well. But anyway, drop your comments down below on, on what sets you guys are most excited for. Did you guys get any of these sets yourselves? What's your thoughts? and your opinions. If you guys want to support the channel, there is two ways to do that. The number one way is to hit the thanks button right down below. You can leave a small donation and the donations go towards Lego hauls just like this. Camera equipment, cleaning equipment, air purifiers, and obviously the Lego all around. The other way you guys can support the channel is just by hitting the subscribe button. Hitting subscribe and following along is just an incredible way to stay tuned for all the LEGO activity that we do. Mock, city work, reviews, store hauls, vlogs, and whatever else with LEGO that we can do. Hell, we've even been to Legoland one time. So we might go there or go to Disneyland and take you guys along for the ride. You never know what we're going to do here on the channel. And last but not least, if you guys want to share this video with your friends and also, like I said, comment and like the video, that would be incredible. For now, guys, I am leaving you there. Check out tomorrow's video where we do the Icon McLaren MP4-4 for Ayrton Senna. And on that one, y'all have a good one, and thank you for watching.